today's adventure hello brings me to pigeon forge tennessee right along the little pigeon river i have made the commute from charlotte north carolina where i was i impulsively drove over here it is 307 p.m as the recording of the saturday april 15th 2023 the final day the final of three days of the spring rod run here in the Great Smoky Mountains, Pigeon Forge. The event takes place at an event center, but even though it is ending, it spills out onto the streets of Pigeon Forge. I'm inviting you to join me, shall you? If I would have taken the four hour commute in this little ice cream truck, as opposed to my rental car, the four hours probably would have been like seven, you know, seven hours. And the traffic right along the parkway is bumper to bumper. I will be hoofing it. I will be walking up one end and down the other. Also, Adam the Woo here. Forgot to do that in the intro. Now crossing over the state line, I did not come in from the Gatlinburg side. Ooh, that was going by really fast. There'll be a lot of cars going fast on that side. A lot of cars going slow on that side. This guy wants to be in the video. Now he got shy all of a sudden. So yeah, I took some, I took some of the back roads. I did not take the parkway into my hotel. Smoky Mountain hospitality. Look at this, like uh, this guy right here. It's like that'd be like a blacksmith of sort. I think it'd be faster to walk down the parkway than it would be to drive, or possibly take a golf a golf cart like this. Up, the traffic is not moving at all. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a modern day Dukes of Hazard General Lee right here as well there's gonna be a lot of classic car alerts through here today oh look at this old truck look at this old truck over here so a lot of people put them on display to be seen but also people put them on display to sell them this old gmc this guy's got the right idea too riding along in that little spider this guy walking away just was very friendly gave these gentlemen in the back of the truck a, a beer What's up, guys? They were looking at me very confused as if maybe they weren't supposed to have, have that. I don't know. And surprisingly, kind of impulsively this morning, I was gonna stay in Charlotte another day. In fact, I bailed out of my hotel before the second night, so I'm gonna have to see if I can get that money refunded. I didn't realize this was happening, and all of a sudden this morning I got up and you know what, it's only like a four hour commute over to Pigeon Forge. So I looked to see if there were any hotels in the area, and surprisingly there was one along the river. Booked it and headed over. And yes, I feel as if I am wearing an appropriate t-shirt. Great album. Got this at a truck stop on the way in. Stopped to fuel up and get a little gas and a, and a beverage. And I saw they had these for like 15 bucks. So after I put the shirt on, I forgot how good this album was. I threw the album on, on, uh, on in my car while I was driving on the, on the music and listen to it on the way over. And you know, classic truck alert. And ZZ Top, can't go wrong. Okay, these guys here are wearing a yellow rod run t-shirt. There are motels all along here. I mean, Pigeon Forge, Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg are two of my favorite places. Twin, Twin Cities, two of my favorite places, but it is busy out here, traffic wise. Okay, this, this truck has been designated the little brown jug. It's under construction because evidently it is not finished. You can see fender down here. Look, there's like chains across the front. And just everywhere you look, classic goodness. You notice up top, that always kind of reminds me of Spaceship Earth. There used to be a zip line roller coaster up there. It's been closed forever. Take a look at this cooler down here. The cooler is painted to look like some sort of an engine right there. I need one of those. I don't know what that grinding sound was. Oh, they got little motorcycles right over there. Check those out. They got little uh, little mopeds as well. All sorts of transportation devices. Oh, he's got like a Muppet head on. Okay, a lot of people sitting in the back of truck. Even, even classic old trucks need fuel too. This is just complete overload of nostalgia when it comes to car collectors. Traffic is sitting so still, almost like this fish mailbox is yelling at this truck saying, Move along! Well, they can't move along 
because it's just bumper to bumper gridlock through here. Oh, here's another truck. Ooh, look at this old Metro right here. Dang, that's pretty sweet. $19,000 for that thing. Oh, this was kind of lifted up a little bit. This low rider blue, it says on the side. Even some motorcycles for sale out here. These old customs, Chevy customs. That's a Chevy, this is a Ford. Oh, they're both Chevys. Actually, they're both Chevys. Yeah, that's pretty, that's a good, that's a, that's an old school one right there. Look at that. 3100 Chevy, 1933 Ford. According to the little placard, not placard, but the little information down there. Yeah, who knew the Great Smoky Mountains and Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area would resemble the five traffic in LA? That's what I kind of, uh, the LA, I'm getting LA five vibes. Except you don't see, you don't see like a doom buggy like that on the five. Well, sometimes you do. Nice old truck over here behind this one. Oh, look at that car. I don't know which way to look. It's just like a treasure trove of good stuff. This guy's got a Rod Run t-shirt on, and I believe he might have purchased it at one of the stands that are around here. There's a stand right here at this hotel that sells some of the Rod Run t-shirts. There you go, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Rod Run, right here. Very cool. Sticker price on this thing is five grand. Not that one, this, one, this little thing right here. Very tiny, I would have a hard time getting in and out. I mean, I've sat in a DeLorean before, and even in a DeLorean, very uncomfortable with my weight and height. This would be even, even harder to get in and out of. One car I've always been drawn to is an El Camino. I think some 41 had a song about an El Camino. I wonder if they still laugh when old people fall. I never, that line in the, in the song. That's, that's a weird line. I don't, why would you laugh at all some old people falling? Got a series of bugs through here. I yeah, said so someone just like, let me jump on the back of their golf, court, golf cart and took me down the parkway. That'd be nice. Sticker price on this. Whoever owns this owns set, asking 74K for it. 58,000 for this one. This thing is beautiful. Look at these, how the doors open. Open forward like that. This Plymouth. Got a BA Baracus type van right here. these motel parking lots just completely full of cars this one over here this is interesting okay so take a look at what's tucked around the back side here I see Chucky back in there look there's Chucky Chucky's in the coffin over there creepy you see a lot of tow trucks around too no rod run parking will be towed that's a rat's a rat rod here Yeah, I can still traffic. Slow going. I am walking about a three or four faster pace than the vehicle. Except for that one. That was going fast. Look at this big congregation of people down here waiting for the light to change to cross over. People walk in and on bikes and whatnot. Scooters, etc. Usually you don't see the parkway this busy. Unless there's like a parade or an event like this. This is a very unique one. You don't see too many of these around. This one's got a little Tasmanian double right on the front dash. That's a great pull behind camper right there. I like the design of it, it has the little wings on the side and everything. That's a good little pull behind. Got old Betty's produce truck right here. I like this one. Oh, this is very shimmery and nice, but this is draw it in and make offer for sale. Super Beetle. 73 Super Beetle. Oh, something happened on the side here. There's a little oops written on the side. Like someone bumped into it or something, shopping cart or another car door. 23 and a half hour service. Racing fuel at Redneck Customs. Look at there's a 
There's a keg of beer in the back. All right, the second General Lee of the day. This one is more like the one from the show instead of like the, the new design. Some are driving down the road, some are parked by the road, and this, this is a pace car. Slick them and grease them. Slick them and grease them. That's what the side of that tow truck said. Oh, I used to have a buddy back in the day when I worked at Publix. This is an old Mustang, I think, right? Yeah, it's an old Mustang. He's had one of these cars. This bear over here, I think, wants to eat this one. That bear's got its eyes on some of these vehicles. Gift shop bear. That's pretty awesome. If you feel inclined to grab one of these spots, don't unless you're shopping at one of these stores. If you park and walk, you will be towed. Luckily, the hotel I'm staying at, they gave me a little thing to go over my windshield. Customer parking only, if you park and walk, you will be towed. I got secured parking from staying at the hotel. Oh, there's a lot of good ones over here, right underneath the Riverside Tower, looking down. Yeah, they're just everywhere you, I mean, not even thousands of classic cars. Gonna veer off the parkway for a little bit, past the Try My Nuts stand. Walk over to the old mill district. And for whatever reason, the water wheel is not quite operational. But the overload of eye candy in the form of vehicles definitely is. You can just see how far the traffic backs up at this intersection. Do not park and walk. Only for customers only. Here at the old mill. I just kind of want to get it out of the, get out of the sun for a bit. Yeah, even the Try My Nuts place has a rod running shirt. <laughs> There's a piece of watercraft out here as well. definitely drive this sport van 90 deluxe that is beautiful right there look at that thing <laughs> a little bit of rust on this one but it's pretty awesome oh they're trying to get in the window of that one so they're trying to unlock the door but this one was made in the same year I was born 74 they lock their keys on that one or they're trying to break into it this one right here has a sticker price well on the front of the windshield for 34,500 35 grand they are appealing though with all the rust on them one day I'm just gonna buy a classic car one day I'm just gonna come to an event like this and be like I'm just gonna see something that jumps out at me and I'm just gonna do it and that when that that's pretty impulsive though not today it's not gonna happen today. steam coming out the front of it. I'm going to turn around here at the island. I went from the spur, uh, welcome to Pigeon First Spur, spur sign. Also, this old van over, ramp van over here too. So I pretty much walked, walked a pretty good distance up to the island and I'm going to go the other side of the road and head back. All right, got hydrated, relaxed for a minute. Now crossing over the road, head back the other way. This guy has a little doggy on his chest. <laughs> so cute. Her name is Nina. What's her name? Oh yeah, put her on this up here. Nina. Nice to meet you. This truck doesn't know whether it's going forward or backwards. Doesn't know whether it's coming or going. What's going on? This is a. Look at this. Oh, 
parked directly in front of Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride. Got a converted sweet little, little bug right here. There's the mystery machine. You can just see how far the traffic stretches. I'm walking all the way back down there. Really low to the ground over here. Looks like it's got the battery down there on the little side step as well. Got a low rider mail truck there. Low priority. And a lot more of these parking signs. Parking for Mountain Breeze motel guests only. All others will be towed at owner's expense. Except for probably the classic cars that were probably here on display. I'm not sure if all of these cars are staying at the hotel, the Mountain Breeze. Maybe they are. And as far as trucks peeling out, I'm seeing a lot today. Oh, are they going to wreck? Ooh. Eh, probably not. So. Some sort of flying contraption right there. Will and Dawn, Yankee in the South, who you guys just informed me this is not the big, oh, this is a backwards car going. Yeah. This is not the bigger of the two rod runs, right? Yeah. The fall one's a little bigger, yes. The fall one has more people than this. Yeah. Which, do you, which do you prefer, Dawn? Um, probably this one, because yeah. the other one seems more. Is it a little too hectic? Yeah, crazy. Are there the a lot other of. One, the fall one's even hotter. <laughs> even hotter than this? Yeah. There is a Coca Cola stand right there. So not just cars out here, but also Coca-Cola merchandise stands that you can get. People who have the bicycles have the right idea. Yeah, this old bus right here, at the hood up, it's called the Short Bus Speed Shop. I think in this day and age, that terminology probably not, probably not PC. But then again, this is, this is pigeon for it, right? Yeah. Will, do you think you would fit on that th in that you, thing? You want to ride? Up? I can't fit in that thing. You want to ride? Up? My head would hit the top of it. You're gonna, like, I'll film you head. riding it if you want to ride. No, it. I'm good. That's all you, man. They invited you, not me. I can't. I'll film it. I'll, I'll do it. Do it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Will, you're gonna be riding in the short bus. You know, I think they outlaw these because they like they, they swing back and smack kids in the head or something. Having fun back there? <laughs> you got. Oh, okay. Here. There you go. It comes. It comes as a two for one package. If you ride that, you got to play on the pole. You got to play, play on the pole. pole. <laughs> okay, we'll get on the pole. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Did you get it or not? He's on the pole. Oh, oh, you know what? I think I'm all out of ones. Sorry, Will. I'm all, I'm all out of ones. Sorry, buddy. I didn't get the one corner, but maybe That's awesome. Thanks, guys. That's yeah, when I got up this morning, I did not expect to be in town. And also, when I got up this morning, I didn't expect to see Will hey. on a stripper pole. You never know what's going to happen never know. here in the Smokies. What happens in the forge doesn't always stay in the forge, but... <laughs> well, it's going all over. No one's going to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Casper, Casper the friendly ghost, and Casper the friendly automobile. What's the name Casper? All right, this is the third General Lee I've seen today. I've seen three of them so far. I'm sure there's probably about a dozen more, but I've seen three. Yeah, Will was just telling me this is one of the last 
kind of old-timey roadside spots here. Even though village was, you know, that yeah. they tore that down. Yeah, I just showed Hillbilly Village. Yeah, this is like the last. The last of the great roadside Pigeon Forge stands. In fact, you can't even ride this horse. It's got a little bag over it. You can ride this though for 50 cents if you want. It's got this little fireman here. You used to ride these when you were a, yeah, a young lad? I, I think I've actually ridden this one. You rode that I horse? A, I got a, a photo somewhere. Really? Yeah. Been in business for 50 years here. I can't go on it because I exceed the weight limit by about 20 pounds. This was marked down from 12.5 to 11.5. And they'll keep marking it down as the day goes oh, on. Oh, really? Yep, so you get your better deals if you're looking to buy. Yeah. You know what I mean? At okay, the end yeah. of the broad run, like later on the night, these guys are pretty much give them, giving them away. <laughs> Don, what could you see me behind the wheel of? What kind of classic car could you see me behind the wheel of? Because you're old, farm rat. Because I'm old? <laughs> old. A far, I'm a farm rat? All right. <laughs> I think a TA, like, like, like Smokey and the Bandit. I could see you driving a TA or... Because I'm old. Yeah, possibly for a given, for doing a burnout or going too fast. He even left his lights on just to make an example. It's a cool man. Look at this. Look at the tires. Look at the side of the tires on that truck. Oh, he's saying that the bumper is too tall up. I guess the tires are too big. It's like a, it's a, I don't know what the, the regulation is, but yeah, I guess the tires are too big. How tall can the tires be up? Every state's got different rules, you know. Um, I don't know what, what Tennessee is. So everyone's just peeling out, just going crazy over there, and someone gets a ticket for having their bumper a little too high. Yeah, I just saw a guy driving a truck back there. He went through the McDonald's drive through It looked like he was like 13. You got the beads and they throw beads out. It's kind of like Mardi Gras, you know? Oh, did you get any beads? No, no, too old for that. <laughs> too old for beads? I've been to Mardi Gras. There's people yeah. older than us there. Yeah. You know, Hopefully. taking care of, lift, lifting their top, getting the beads. Yeah. Older than older than me. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to see that. Yeah, but these, these are young kids. I don't want to see Dawn or I run around. But they want to see me? Uh, I lifted my shirt for some beads? I don't know. <laughs> How many beads do you think I could get Dawn? It'd be ten? interesting to find ten? out. Did you get ten? I haven't got any. I'm not I'm doing it. Not right. today, but at Mardi Gras. Oh, Mardi Gras! I got a whole treasure trove. I got a whole oh, closet yeah. full. Oh wow! I was very popular. Very, very, very popular. Did you vlog that? I, I didn't put half that. Yeah, that, that. No, that's that's for my own private. All right, we're getting another one. Oh, look at this dog. They're getting somebody. Who are they getting? Who are they getting? Up, oh, getting that truck right there. There's number two. I just realized there is a Long John Silvers here in Pigeon Forge. There's a Long John's. I didn't even know those were still open. Oh, it looks like Baskin Robbins just got their milk delivery. <laughs> They're uh, pulling, pulling away now. Yeah, you can't make ice cream without milk. I got milk. Yep. That's how home churned ice cream is made. That is awesome. That old truck, that old milk truck there cows in the back. Look at that. Oh, they got the cow going. That's great. That is good. That's one way to take your dog around. It's a service dog in the back there. Hey guys, hey, oh, you, you got a chauffeur. Okay. You for teeth justice. Getting the sounds here of the vehicles. I think I'm about to wrap it up. Same a lot. This traffic is is just at a standstill. So being a local, how how long of a wait you think it would be to getting out of Gatlinburg into Pigeon Forge through the spur? If you had to guess, if you were taking the spur, what would be the time frame? Yeah, uh, between two and three hours. Two and three hours. I mean, it's not even moving. Once you get on that spur, you can't really get off of it because there's really no. Yeah. You're stuck. You're. You're stuck. Sun is setting. Classic car alert pulling off over in the distance. I'm gonna do my outro here at this empty, closed convention center.
right here. That's going to do it for today from the spring 2023 Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We did not even have any plan on being here. Woke up this morning, drove four or five hours, made the commute, walked up and down each side of the parkway, got to see my friends Will and Don from Yankee in the South. Pretty good to see them. And I saw some classic cars. An impulsive day. Unexpected impulsive day. It was fun. And I was wearing an appropriate t-shirt. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. The vlog is over. Considering I spent most of the day in the car commuting here, the fact that I walked 17,540 steps in those uh, four hours that I was walking up and down, I walked a pretty healthy amount walking up and down the strip. Not bad. It's now 10 o'clock at night and the traffic is worse than it was earlier. It's like all bottlenecking over here. And it's just a complete standstill here on the parkway. It's not even moving. Like people are like, this person's like getting out of their window. <laughs> oh my gosh. Unbelievable. It's not even moving. If you just pulled in here to get gas or to get a snack at the good stop, trying to get out of here, just to probably pull out on the parkway, it's gonna probably be 20 minutes if anyone even lets you out. And it looks like you can't even get through this way. Got the sheriff here, someone's getting handcuffed over there. Yeah, I feel bad anyone that's leaving Gallenberg now. This is probably a solid hour or more just to get down to the other end of the parkway like probably like the Hollywood Wax Museum. But I can't imagine how much farther it would be going to Gatlinburg. It's got to be three or more hours to get from Gatlinburg to the end of the Pigeon Ford Parkway. This isn't even moving. So I stopped inside this Good Stop convenience store and there were some people in there that said they were stuck in traffic. They got out of their car, went in, got beverages and snacks and it had time to go back over into the traffic after getting you know, merchandise and food and drinks from the store. They said they have not moved more than a few car links in like an hour. I really lucked out with, like, okay, so is this, is this officer gonna like, is he gonna throw the lights on? And try to get through there? Because if not, he's gonna be sitting in that traffic for hours. If you're not walking or on a bike or on a cart or a motorcycle, cutting through lanes, you're, you're, yeah, this is a mess. All right, I'm gonna go back to my hotel. I got a couple snacks from the store. I got a couple microwavable burritos, because I couldn't find anything else. And that'll be my evening meal for the evening. Pretty awesome event. Oh, look at this little truck over here. It says Rudy K. Teeny tiny truck right there. Oh, look at the steam coming off the back of that truck. You just let off, it's like blasting some steam coming off of there. So, if, even if you just get off the parkway, just a simple side road to turn into the traffic that's not moving stretches all the way back here. So, for future reference, if you're ever coming out to any of the rod, there's two a year, and they're both this busy, prepare for a lot of traffic and try to get a hotel, get to your hotel early, check in, get a parking spot, and don't leave, and don't go anywhere. For real. Last look at a couple cars here. Also, this is bonus footage. Bonus footage.